video from my 2017 trip to the Socorro Islands with Power Scuba aboard the Valentina dive boat. The Socorro Islands are a volcanic chain of islands that are approximately 240 miles south of Cabo San Lucas. What you see here is San Benedicto Island. It's one of the younger of the Socorro Islands. And here we are actually looking at one of the volcanoes. And as you'll see from this drone footage taken by one of our dive guides, it's a relatively young island and the cone of the volcano is very, very distinct. Here's a map so you can get the relative position of the islands. It's called by some the Galapagos of the North. Given its position, it's a way station for many pelagic creatures as they're making their journey across the ocean. For me, the reason I really wanted to go to the Socorro Islands was to dive with the mantas, and they truly did not disappoint. There are actually two species of manta ray. One tops out at about an 18-foot wingspan. The other tops out at 23 feet. These are beautiful, graceful filter feeders that are actually in the eagle ray family. They don't have a stinger, per se, and they don't create a danger to humans. They are gentle, beautiful giants. Another interesting fact is that they actually bear live young. My interactions were varied and were always amazing. One of the things that they would do is sort of play a game of chicken with you. They'd swim directly at you and your natural inclination is to duck down so you can get pictures of them gracefully soaring above your head. This has a natural tendency to force divers deeper and deeper so you really have to keep careful eye on your buoyancy while you're swimming with these gorgeous creatures. It's easy to lose track. Another somewhat common visitor are bottlenose dolphins. This is my first opportunity I've ever had to dive with bottlenose dolphins, and it too was a welcome treat. But something that was especially unique about this trip were the false killer whales that appeared. This was an incredible opportunity. So rare, in fact, that our dive guides grabbed their masks and their GoPros and jumped off the main liverboard itself as opposed to waiting for a ponga to get to swim with the pods. I encountered them not only at the boat, but once during a dive. The Socorros Islands are also well known for its shark populations. This, I believe, is a Galapagos shark. Here, I believe this is a silky shark. The sharks are everywhere, and they tend to be quite docile. Also, on the smaller side, the Galapagos is one of the biggest. Socorros is known for having both white tips and silver tips. The silver tips, which I think are what you see here, are a little bit larger. The white tips, however, are famous for this photo here. This is a pile of white tips sitting on a ledge at Rocco Partida. There are photos of this everywhere. One of the really interesting encounters we had with sharks was after the false killer whales left. After the false killer whales departed, a school of 25 or more small silky sharks appeared underneath us. One silky shark, no big deal. Five silky sharks, no big deal. 25, 30, 40, however many you see here, that started making folks just a little bit nervous. Still a very neat encounter. The sharks generally, but not always, kept their distance. Often they'd be seen as beautiful silhouettes above us, occluding just a little bit of, a, of the light to give that iconic profile. Very neat experience. There were, of course, a large variety of fish all throughout the Socorros. One of the more common ones we saw were various varieties of jacks. 
This is one subspecies that you see here. There were also quite a few eels of different varieties in ornamentation. They were quite beautiful. Some had a spotted pattern. Others were striped in a very zebra-esque pattern. Very, very neat. Very dramatic in its appearance. There were other common mora eels as well. The crown jewel of the Socorros is this little rock outcropping called Rocco Partida. It is a tiny, tiny little rock, maybe 40 yards in diameter, but it is home to so much life and fantastic visibility. Here's a view from the top to the bottom. As you can see, it is a very sheer wall dive. This is where you've got the ledge full of white tip sharks that are just sitting, many of which, in my opinion, appeared to be pregnant. It's also home to gigantic bait balls and all of the life that they support. This was one of the locations where there were schooling hammerheads, which unfortunately, and much to my chagrin, were always just out of view of my camera but the quantity of life here was stunning. Here you see one of my most interesting encounters with a school. I actually was able to swim inside of a school of tuna. I've never had an experience like this with schooling fish that were so large, and it is really, really impressive to see these graceful and very hydrodynamic fish swim by. And don't Make the mistake of believing that Socorro Islands do not afford macro opportunities. On Socorro itself, we found this tiny, beautiful nudibranch. There were also barnacle blennies at the same location. Periodically, you'd find cleaning stations. Here you can see a parrotfish that are, that's being cleaned by wrasse. One of my favorite fish that I mistakenly believed was only endemic to the Atlantic Ocean was the goatfish, named for the little barbells that sit underneath its chin that it uses to probe the sand and attempt to find food. I love watching these guys swim around and feed. They, they stir up quite a mess, but are super cute. This is a tropical flounder that had an absolutely uncanny ability to blend in with its surroundings. I was lucky to see it when it was in sort of its purple phase, which is the only reason I was able to spot it. Super neat. But one of my favorite encounters was this, and it came on the last dive of the trip. Here you see an octopus, and in a moment it will swim to a rock, and you'll see it kind of reach an arm out and tag something and then quickly pull away. What it's doing is tagging a female octopus that's sitting behind the rock. This video depicts octopus mating. Really, really cool. I've never had an opportunity to witness this behavior before. And I'm really glad I got the opportunity. Such a neat encounter with such an active octopus. And I leave you now with a drone shot of Socorro Island itself. As you can see, its topography is a little bit different. It's got a little more red to it, possibly a little more iron deposits. Overall, this was an amazing trip. I got to swim with some of nature's most majestic pelagic creatures.